Next one from Angela. Um, if someone is on limited funds, what are the top herbs? Like if you had to choose two or three or four or a combination there, what would you, what would you prioritize above everything else that you've recommended Dr. Rawls for joints? Uh, probably turmeric. Uh, turmeric is dirt cheap. You can get that anywhere. Boswellia isn't that expensive either. Um, but you definitely need some antimicrobial herbs. Uh, probably top of the list for that would be cat's claw and Japanese knotweed. Um, anything you add on is going to really help you um, buy the best preparations that you can, either tinctures or standardized extracts. Um, if you get really desperate, you can buy bags of standardized extracts of herbs and actually make your own capsules, which I did a good bit of when I was figuring this out because I found that there were a lot of things I couldn't get. So I would er order packs, uh, pouches of standardized herbal extracts and, and I had my own little capsule machine and I'd make my own little capsules and you can do it pretty cheaply. It's a lot of work. But um, yeah, it, it can save you money. So there are definitely things that you can do. There are definitely things that you should do. As many of these herbs as you can get in you do. Now, just a really quick note on buying herbs. There are really three main ways. Um, there's whole herb powder, which is basically the whole herb ground up and you get a lot of fiber in that. And there are a few herbs that that's the only way you can get. It's like Animu, it takes about a thousand milligrams at least because mostly it's just whole herb, whole herb powder. Um, so it's the whole plant, the stems, leaves, everything dried and ground up. Um, beyond that are tinctures. Tinctures, they take the uh, medicinal part of the plant, whether that's root or stems or leaves, and, and they uh, soak that in water and alcohol, extract the phytochemistry, and, and, and uh, then remove the stems and leaves so you get just the phytochemicals. Um, that's a really nice way to do it. There's certain things like cryptolepis that it's, and hootonia that it's hard to find any other way. They just don't do as well with other products as some other products. And then the final thing are standardized powdered extracts. That basically they're taking a water alcohol tincture and drying off the water and alcohol to get the powder. And then they mix that with some of the whole herb. So the ratio of phytochemicals to the powder is, is you can get higher and higher concentrations. So you want to get as high of concentrations of the phytochemicals as you can. That's the most concentrated way to get phytochemicals is the, the standardized powdered extracts.